In this video, we're talking Marvel Snap and does this location suck for you? So Kaovia, it's the current hot location as of what, February 26. Hope is this is a location spotlight video, so hopefully you can use it in the future at some time if you need. But we're gonna talk about this briefly, do some gameplay based on the deck I've got and show you some decks that might work here. Sokovia, whenever this pops, it discards a card from your hand. Deal with it. So the first thing you might wanna think of is discard decks. Now discard decks are obviously very RNG, or can be depending if it's a Sif or something like that. This adds another component to that RNG. Do you wanna try to get that Wolverine? Do you wanna try to build up Morbius? Do you wanna try to get Apocalypse? Or are you gonna lose a card that you care about later? Depends, it's RNG. So that, in this website, um, it talks about some of the best decks. Uh, they, they've got some cards here. This is, again, based on the 26 and whatever locate or whatever data they got for tracking. Protect the Queen, Modoc, Discard, Mad Titan, Discard, all these different ones. You can check it out. Uh, the Protect the Queen one here. You can see what they've got. I mean, Taskmaster, Red Skull, Captain Marvel can move around. Arrow, it's a pretty solid deck. Titania, Cosmo, She-Hulk. I'm actually seeing a lot of this right now. Uh, the Zero with the Red Skull is nice and then Taskmaster in it. Standard Modoc type deck. Obviously, the Storm. Uh, the America Chavez to hold back late. If you got Colleen Wing, Morbius to rack it up. Dracula to discard whatever you got still in your hand. This is a great regular, I'd say, discard deck. Discard two. How different is this? Looks like it's got a Quay and a Collector in it. Uh, also throws in Moon Girl to potentially double some things up. Nakia to get some points out there. I like the other one a little bit better, to be honest with you. Uh, Mad Titan, you got uh, Thanos. So you can drop anything in there with a the Lockjaw. You get the Stones Arrow to do some manipulation. Legion. I'm actually seeing a lot of this one as well. This is a really good deck uh, to get things kind of going. You've got an, a Shang-Chi to blow some things up. I'm not necessarily playing any of those in regular discard. I'm curious what deck 15 is. Uh, it's similar to the other one we had. There's a Polaris add in there. That's slightly different. Those are the decks that they've got that are saying are sort of being pretty successful with this. I'm stubborn. I'm still going to try my negative test. So it's called test, but I've been playing it. I built it uh, my rank up to about 90 the other day. So we're going to see how this does personally for me. And I'm going to let you know some of the things that go along with this. But ultimately, regardless of what deck you choose here, the way to play, in my opinion, is always know your win conditions, know when you're set up decently, and if somebody snaps and you don't have a great scenario, bounce out. Sokovia is a situation that gives you one more difficulty in getting your hand or your deck situated, your locations plays, to where you want them so that you can win. Just one more factor. So let that go, let it be, also yourself into just keep playing, don't let it tilt you or frustrate you. It's one more factor, get through this hot location and you'll be good. Don't, don't do a bunch of crazy stuff unless you have the cards that actually play a discard type thing that works well with Sokovia. All right, let's get into it. And in this one, I get a Lamentus, which is actually terrible for negative decks. I got an okay hand here. It's not the worst in the world. This one, I got leached, no location situation, but as soon as it happened, I'm out. That's just a standard gameplay. There's the discard, Bishop, see you later. So I normally like having him. It's not the end of the world with a negative deck because he was already in my hand. So I'm still hoping to get my Zabu and my uh, Mr. Negative early on. We'll see. Not getting any of the cards I need. So it's already not looking like a great play regardless. Can't play anything till turn four. That's typically a bad. Bad, bad thing. See if extending the game helps at all. I don't think it will, but we'll see. So I didn't get the cards that I wanted to here. It was a late start uh, and I didn't get lucky to get an Iron Man pull late. If I would have gotten that, maybe I could have pulled something off. Didn't. I'm not even going to finish this one. But again, Sokovia comes. You got to do what you can to just sort of move on if you can get it. Luckily, they didn't snap. So before the end of the game, before they do anything, I retreat. I only lose one. Not a great hand to start for me, but we'll see what happens with Sokovia.
Well, thank you for that, Rhino. I'm probably going to want to drop Blue Marvel middle, so I'm waiting on that a little bit. Interesting. I'm going to let this one play out. I feel like I've still got Iron Man and Mystique that can all come out for free. Lots of, lots of things that can happen here. But I do want to get some points on the board here. I don't love my Ironheart play, but I'm going to do it anyway. A really fun cerebral play. Let's see how this plays out. It's a lot of points for a lot of cards. Ooh, I got my Iron Man too. Ooh, geez Louise. All right, first though, we've got to get the extended turns going. Not the end of the world, but I would have liked, I would have liked to get that be a little bit uh, more cards I could play this turn. You know what? I can literally rogue everything middle. I can rogue everything middle. I, I can Iron Man a spide. I can Mystique aside. And then, oh wow, this is this is going to be interesting here. Because these two are free, so that's three, that's six. But I'm not doing anything yet. We'll see what happens. He's playing threes everywhere. Just threes everywhere. Getting all these cards. What's going to happen? The anticipation. All right, so now I've got to play my Iron Man first because um, I want to rogue in the middle. So I just played... I want to get more points over here. Then I've got to follow up with my Mystique. Then um, I've got seven points to play. Uh, I obviously want to do Blue Marvel. And then I'm just stealing everything they have mid so that I can be like, okay. Um, and I'd, I'd almost want to play Bishop there to get more points, but I don't. So all of these points for them are going to go away. And we're going to snap to see what happens because it's fun. Glad that uh, they had priority there. Boink. He's probably like, I don't care. He's like, I don't care. He's like, I don't care. I don't care. That's not enough. You can't beat me. He's like, you cannot beat me. You still, cool story, bro. He's like, you can't beat me. And then he's like, oh. Except for it's not stealing. And that's that's an interesting... Now, I won, but that's an interesting dynamic. So why does every rogue there should... That's interesting. I wonder if that... Now, again, luckily I won, but why why didn't each one of these get stolen? That seems sort of... It's, I understand it feels copies of the first one you do, but wouldn't it... Wouldn't you... Shouldn't it keep going? That's an interesting aspect. Now, again, luckily I won, but... Ooh, that was a, that was a tight one. I thought I was going to win that by a lot more. Um, so they snapped right away. I don't love my hand. Immediate retreat. And that's that's the type of thing, again, you know, if whether it's Sokovia or some other location, if you don't like what you're seeing at, at some point and somebody snaps and you're not good, just just get out. Just don't even waste your time. Don't waste it. Really, it's the cubes. It's not about the time. It's the cubes. You don't, you don't need to say, well, I just want to see one more. Like, they're either just... There to bluff and keep going, or they got a great hand. If you don't have a great hand, why waste your time? Again, this one's not starting off all that great because I have my two high flip cards, both in my hand before I can Mr. Negative them. So I don't love that. See what happens with Sokovia. One other aspect of this is, I mean, some of these games that I'm showing you, I'm not even getting Sokovia. So it's something to factor in on how much you actually want to be able to uh, change all your cards so that they are, it's based on a location. Because sometimes you don't get it. I mean, you got to be careful with that. This isn't going to be a great hand, but I'm going, uh-oh. He's going he's gonna to arrow me or something over there. Or maybe not. Interesting play. So I think I could play this out and likely win it, um, but I don't feel that confident in it. Man, I don't know. So in this case, because I don't have a great hand, could I win? Yeah, but I'm not. I don't even risk it. Starting off okay. See if Sokovia disrupts everything. Now we just need a magic to extend. We'll be sitting okay. I'm just give me a maximum. One of my best cards. I'm not super mad about that. 
I don't want to play Super Scroll because he's got this Ebony Maw out there. Um, I still have an Iron Man in my hand um, and a Bishop and a Magic and a Shuri and Angela. So it's a lot of decent cards. I'm really hoping to get Magic on this pull. And again, that would be fine if that was the case. An interesting play there. Give me magic. Oh, Shuri. So I got to play the Shuri. I can't let that out of my hand go. Um, unfortunate part is, is that Ironheart's going to be free for him. Well, that's an interesting play given that we're swapping hands here. Interesting. Now, Ironheart, if he plays Ironheart and it hits the right side at all, that's definitely over. Um, which would make me feel like, you know, a Captain Marvel mid here. And it's, but then I'd lose, I mean, I could potentially lose, but um, we'll see. I mean, he could have gotten a really good card last turn. Um, or I can just sit here and go like this. Let's try that one. We're going to, we're going to YOLO this one. Yeah, Ironheart it is. Yeah, and that that's what I was worried about with the Ironheart play. That if that happened, it would hit the Maw. That one's a loss, but, you know, I was kind of on the edge of it to keep going. Could I have backed out? Yeah, probably should have. I've dropped a few ranks since last night, just trying to mess around today with Sokovia. I was playing disc discard for a while, and I, I didn't like it. And that's why I it became the, like inspiration for the video i'm like I, f I i should make a video that sort of talks about you don't necessarily need to succumb to whatever the location is like just play your card like can you gain a lot of points yes you can because but then a lot of other people might so do you have a well, if everyone's playing discard then what what do you have that could counter that maybe you want to get a leech out there maybe you want to get a lockjaw with a leech in there so you can really start messing with things i mean that that's sort of the thought that i had with it now i'm still playing my negative deck because i don't have i guess i could lockjaw some leech stuff but i just really like this deck right now i really want to keep playing it i'm kind of like i'm going to keep doing this for now ongoing they don't have any other than ant man so i'm going to go ahead and play super scroll here to get the ant man combo i'll fill that up Hopefully next turn somewhere. We'll see what happens. And the only reason I'm playing that Shuri is in case I want to play um, both of these. I get I want to make sure that I have room for that. Interesting play. I'm not all that mad about that. All right, so we'll do that. We'll do um, oh, we Professor X over there. I forgot my super scroll locks things down, so I have to win mid now. Interesting. I'm like, why can't I play there? So the, uh, the only play, everything is mid. So I'm like super doubling up. So I'm doubling up my Iron Man. So it gets to be 10. Then I double that to get to be 20. And then the Mystique doubles it to get to be 40. So I'm going to go ahead and snap here and see what happens. No Sokovia situation, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, they backed out. I wasn't confident going into the last hand, honestly. Otherwise, I would have snapped earlier, but it was close to that. Dream Dimension will mess us up with magic. See if a Sokovia comes into play. We're not getting a lot of Sokovias. Again, not getting Sokovias, then why model your deck around it? Sokovia, Blue Marvel. Ugh. That hurts a little bit, but it hadn't been negative yet, so I'm not... Okay, there you go. Victory. Apparently, they really wanted to play that She-Hulk. Oh, it can hurt everybody. Iceman to magic's the worst in the world. I actually am not upset about that. When you have a negative deck and you get a Black Widowed, not a big deal. Ugh, that's annoying though. Again, no Sokovia. So, oh, Scorpion me up. Look at this guy, just pure troll deck. Too bad I can't play magic. We gotta play our uh, Iron Man somewhere. I normally don't like jamming up, so you know what? That's going to be a zero, but it gives a little bit of a deception on what I might do next turn versus them knowing exactly what I have there, plus the opportunity at most to play three cards. 
This must be a Patriot deck. I am Iron Man. All right, luckily I got some points on that Widow's Bite. All right, so here we go. So it's gonna be a Patriot deck. I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. I'm gonna go ahead and put, uh, let's see, where do I want? If I'm gonna copy whatever they're ongoing is, it won't matter. So we'll put that there and then that. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, hold on. We, we should be already winning that one unless, yeah, he's only gonna get points on the squirrel. So we wanna put as many points there as possible. So I will be copying whatever they, whether it's Kazar, whether it's a Patriot, whatever it might be, I should be able to copy it. I should be able to win this one. I've won this one, so snap it. See what happened. Oh, they didn't even want to play it. Victory. I hate Subterranea with a... I mean, it's not the worst with a negative deck, uh, but ugh, I really don't like it. You can get some rocks you can play for free with Blue Marvel or stealing a Patriot or anything like that. Not getting anything good here. And no Sokovia yet again. This is going to be an intro. I'm letting this go through because I don't think he thinks I'm going to be able to tie more egg, but he doesn't need much on the right hand side to win. So I'm just going to let it play out, but we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, it's going to be way, it's way too much. I didn't think he'd do something like that middle, but oh well. Couldn't quite get the Iron Man in there. That one was fun just to see if I could have pulled it off mid. I was not sure if they'd try to jump up the midpoints or not. Again, like... How much of these locations, the hot locations being a factor. No Sokovia yet again. Doubling up that, I don't like that play. I normally don't like doing that. But I just didn't want to risk destroying here. Even though it could get destroyed. Yep, there you go. Oof, oof, oof. Risky, risky, risky. I could lose it all. Early Galactus play, interesting. With only three cards destroyed. That is a really, really interesting play. I'm thinking, I'm debating between Shuri and Blue Marvel here. I'm not, even though this isn't Sokovia, this is a fun one to play. So I'm debating between Shuri and Blue Marvel here. I'm assuming, I mean, again, there's been, what, four cards destroyed? Like, that's not a lot for death. We'll see, though. I feel like that's too many points to leave on the table. Oh, look at that. Tragic. A good play. So I'm retreating at this point, obviously, because I can't play anything. That was just a good play. There's a Sokovia. Looks at a good card. The Pain. So again, snap, Sokovia. Bye. Lost a good card. Like, forget about it. I get why they, someone might snap at that point, but to gain just one cube... To me, I would rather see if I could lure that person in. I mean, because they've already got a situation where they're probably in disadvantaged a little bit. So it's so early on. Why not let them maybe think they can win and then snap? I don't know. I mean, you're just, you're guaranteeing just one there. So to me, that's kind of like, I don't know. Um, oh man, I would love to be able to pull this one off. This is a great hand to start for a negative duck and you get Asylum means i can get my mr negative out early but if i get a sokovia then it might not work so well moment of truth all cards here are good too oh, look at you look at you mr dern are you playing like that all right so no sokovia but i really want to play that super scroll mid now but i don't want to lose it i much got a magic that middle should have waited a turn but it's all right Ooh, interest that's actually Oh, wow. Wow. Everything's jammed up. That's a great play, honestly. Just with miniature. I mean, that's uh, how wor much worse can it get for somebody with... And that's like a perfect setup for them. And I can't draw cards. I'm literally stuck. Which means I'm going to sit here. I'm just going to... Well, take that back. I'm going to go ahead and play that. And we still have a potential mystique coming. So we'll see. We're going to be like that. And then last turn is what it is. I mean, it's, I'm stuck with whatever I'm stuck with, but this is kind of a fun hand. Ooh, look at that. I can't do anything now. Debris is going to fill everything up. Ooh, 
what are they where yeah what are they gonna play here i mean cool <laughs> it's very creative deck but it's just like cool story you know what i mean it's just like i just started racking up points over there i'm like all right so anyway look the point of the video is yes you can build a lot with locations and at the same time you might not get those locations play decks that you think are going to work for you this didn't play out perfectly for me it was fun this is a great fun game i uh what is this almighty oh, dern I, I hope i come to the discord i hope you catch this video so anyway i hope this video has been helpful if let me know what you've been doing for sokovia or any locations i like to do these sort of location spotlights when i feel inspired so they'll come over time so if it helped you you want to hammer down that like button appreciate it. if you want to share with your aunts uncles nieces nephews grandmas grandpas neighbors anybody appreciate it all right until next time i hope you have a wonderful day